Welcome to Brunreisbussen. My name is Frederik Brunreisbussen and I'm the third generation of our family-owned auction house. I would like to give you an introduction to our next upcoming sale, which will take place end of May, beginning of June. We have approximately 1,500 lots of art, modern design, and of course Danish design, and a lot of jewelry and watches. In a moment, you will meet four of our experts who will tell a very interesting story about a painting by Andy Warhol, a painting by the Danish artist Piers Koyer, and a very, very rare watch by Vacheron Constantin. Looking at this uh, June sale coming up here at Brun Rasmussen, uh, we are especially focused on the modern part. And in this section, we have one painting which really stands out. It's a portrait by the world famous pop art artist uh, Andy Warhol. And the person on the painting is a Dane. And as far as we know, this is the only original painting made by Warhol portraying a D Danish person. He was born 1921 in an ordinary working class family at Nørrebro in Copenhagen. And in the 70s, when he sold his success firm Substral, he was able to live out his dream of a life in luxury in um, Monte Carlo and in Beverly Hills. There he met Warhol both in Los Angeles and in Monte Carlo. And he got the idea of having a portrait painting of himself. And that was when he commissioned this painting we have here. Uh, in 1974. It's a, it's a previously untold story, this connection between pop art's greatest icon and a Danish business, businessman. And this makes it a, a unique work. We are pretty much on the same level, but uh, Danish krona, 600,000 to 800,000, and is that a fair price? Obviously, it's quite an amount, but uh, when you consider the very high prices for Warhol's more iconic work, with all respect to Hans Smith, it's actually a quite accessible price, I would say. Yeah, I quite agree. So, please, come and have a look at Mr. Smith alive here at Bonn Rasmus. One of the absolute highlights from the fine art department of this auction is a fantastic piece painted by a Skanes painter, P.S. Koya. In this period, 1892, Koya actually painted nine paintings, all of them depicting bathing children. The first seven were studies uh, with only one or two children bathing at the beach. This one, the eighth, is more finished uh, and the ninth is, has disappeared. No one knows where it is and no one has seen it since the late uh, 1920s. This fantastic painting by Koya is put for sale at our auction and the estimate is two to three million Danish kroners. For the forthcoming auction at Brun Rasmussen on June 10th, we have uh, wonderful wristwatches for both genders. Uh, but the top lot is a wonderful uh, Vachon Constantin Malte with a manual tourbillon movement. But not only is it with a tourbillon movement, it's also been skeletonized, meaning the whole movement has been manually minimized, so to say. So the fragility of this very fine movement is very visible. It's in wonderful condition. It was purchased by the Danish retailer Klarlund here in November 2007 here in Denmark, in Copenhagen. And uh, the watch is offered in a very wonderful condition. Strap is almost unworn. Case shows minimal daily wear. And it comes with a double box and certificate. And uh, even the tool used to change in the date com comes completely unwrapped and in new old stock condition. It's a wonderful opportunity to own an incredible fine watch from uh, the oldest watch company in the world, 1755 ladies and gentlemen. We look forward to seeing you here at our preview in Copenhagen. Please don't hesitate to contact us 
if we can be helpful in any way.